kotor. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. You already know where I'm going first. Jackets. Right off the bat, got a marmot jacket. Yellow tags are half off, blue tags are half off. Probably red tags that aren't half off, I would assume. Wait for the next round. Game day Redskins jacket. Damn, that was forty nine ninety nine for it though. It's a little too much. Oh, let's see. They're about to show. Okay, red tags are half off. Red tags are half off. Green. Red, green. Blue. Red, green, blue, and yellow. So white tags are not half off. Everything but white tags. Appreciate everybody hopping in. Oh, yeah, the NFL was red, actually. Yeah, it was. I'll look this up. I'm going to throw it in my card. I'll look it up later. Oh, it's right there. It's an NFL game day. This is an old school Redskins jacket. I'll throw that in. It's only 25. <clears throat> Appreciate everybody hanging in. Or hanging out. <laughs> hanging in. Hanging out. If you guys aren't following, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. We're going to be live for a good a good amount of time today. This one's white tag. I'll wait till next week. <clears throat> uh, wifey's thrift in the women's section, so we should get some women items today, too. 555 Turnpike. REI. There's a Levi's. Get that Redskins jacket, definitely. Yep. Good thing it's, it must have just been put out recently because I didn't see that here last week. It's another L.L. Bean. Wear guard. It's old school Nike. Doesn't have a big hit on it though, so I'm going to pass. So Vineyard Vines, it's half off. And... It's not doesn't have the tags attached, but it is brand new because it has this on it. Um, it. Does have a logo on the side, but for five dollars, I think I'll pick it up. It's only five bucks for it. Not worth it because name change. Well, people actually pick it up because of the name change for um, for the uh, Redskins jacket because they don't make them anymore. So North Face for twelve dollars and fifty cents. Nice North Face. Boom. Right off the bat, we're getting good hits. Let's go. Let's go. That looks like a Lululemon, but it's not, is it? No, it's not. North Face, Redskins, Nostalgia, exactly. People, people will still pay for it, um, just because you can't get them anymore. But I'll look up comps before I leave today, of course. everybody hopping in comps on the risk and not high okay well we'll probably put it back i'll look up comps before i leave but it's worth it just to throw it in your cart just in case you don't want to like put it back on the shelf and be like oh i'll come back and get it because you never know <clears throat> here's a g3 it's 14.99 i believe this is leather i think this is worth picking up g3 to leather g3 jacket it's like a flight jacket bomber pick that up just in case what story yeah it's called red white and blue um if you've missed any of these live thrifts they're up on my youtube channel this one will also be up on my youtube channel after i'm done uh later today appreciate the rose thank you so much make sure if you're not following hit that follow button i do this once a week um i think next week we're going to be doing it twice a week so if you're following you'll get a notification as soon as i go live what is this oh it's another north face for only 10 bucks Nice North Face. Mm, Land's End. Mm, 
Um, can you create your own shipping label on Mercari? You can. Um, I buy mine through Pirate Ship. Um, I get free shipping and then I get my labels through Pirate Ship. But if you want, you can just use um, Mercari's labels. I just don't use them because they're hard to get on a Dymo to print out for the Dymo. It's kind of annoying to get, get it to print out. There is a workaround, but it's annoying. Um, I want me to use theirs, but it won't print. Yeah, it won't print on the Dymo. It's annoying. You have to use a different uh, printer. What is that? RFT? Looks like all new stuff that they put out just last week. All right. Well, we got some good finds so far. A couple North Face hits already. There's that worm one. There's that Costco leather. Costco leather. Let me check the jeans section. Nobody's in the jeans, thank God. I haven't been able to do jeans in like a week because people have been, uh, um, the gal's been hitting the jeans section like right away. Let's go through the jeans really quick. I need to pick up some good jeans. Remember everything but white tags is half off. Big Bill jeans? Is that a good, thing? Big Bill? I've never heard of Big Bill jeans. Where are they made? Uh, they're made in Canada. Um, they're probably good. I'm gonna throw these in the cart just in case. Somebody let me know if Big Bill jeans are good. I can't look them up. I'm amazed at how organized the store is. Yeah, it's a really good one. That's why I love coming to it because it's so easy to thrift. Big Bill jeans, never heard of those. They're made in Canada. It's a pair of LL beans. Ooh. Okay, for six bucks. LL Beans. I don't normally pick these up, but they are flannel lined, so I'm picking them up. No on the big bills? What do they sell for? Wrangler jeans are always fine. Yeah, I gotta get them cheap, cheap though. Here they do price up some of their stuff. Martin Gordon. Made in China. Comps are 20-ish? Okay. Alright, we'll put them back. So it's always good to throw them in your cart just in case. Just in case. Oh, I just dropped that. Let me flip this really quick. Just drop this. Sorry about that. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following, hit that follow button. Goodwill Clearance Centers. I mean, like the Goodwill bins. Yeah, they are, they are pretty good. My sister goes to those. And she does content on what she picks up. Yeah, there's a pair of 511 Tactical Jeans for only three bucks. We'll scoop those up. Good morning, Beth. How are you doing this morning? Appreciate the roses. Thank you so much. OMT. Take the leap thanks to you. Awesome. Let's go. I always like hearing that. People people that are taking the leap and starting their little selling journey. Who knows? Can grow it into something really big. Kind of like I did. They get a friend. Um, hit the thrift store is nice. Let's go. Hopefully get some good stuff. Um, Rock and Republic. I don't pick that up. I thought that was Ariat for a second. I was going to freak out because I don't find Ariat too often. Um, how many items are in your death pile on average? There's a lot right now, but um, within the next few weeks, the death pile should go down to almost nothing because my wife's helping me out full time. We've listed just this week alone, we've listed almost 50 items on Monday and Tuesday. So there's a pair of page jeans, but they want too much for them. 30 bucks is way too much. Even half off, I'm not going to pick those up. Sorry, my journey. I have stuff all around the dining room. Wife frustrated. Hey, she should be. Got to, you got to put that stuff. Uh, you got to put that stuff away. All my items are not in my house at all. They're either in my garage or in my listing room. So you got to you got to 
not have not have your inventory all over the house. That'll that'll get you get her off your back. Uh, what brand is this? Oh, it's Banana Republic. How did I not know that was Banana Republic? Um, where do you list them? I list on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. If it's your first time here and you're just hopping in, make sure you hit that follow button. I do these live thrifts every single week, uh, multiple times a week. So hit that follow button top left, and uh, you can follow along on the journey. <clears throat> Then, all, of course, at night, I go over what I picked up. So later tonight, if you miss any part of this, it'll be up on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to be doing a live later tonight going over everything I picked up. Here's a pair of AG 360 denim jeans. Um, but these have been altered. You can tell they've been altered from that back right there. So what size are these supposed to be? I'm probably going to leave them. They're not worth picking up because they're altered. It's really annoying to sell altered jeans because you have to take many measurements Make sure the person that buys them buys the correct jeans, correct size. Hello, beans. Just checking to see if they're flannel lined. Oops, they're not. Let me flip the camera again. Oop. Okay, I appreciate everybody hopping in. Hit that follow button in the top left hand corner. Flare, what brand is it though? Heel Flare. What brand this is? Oh, these are J. Crew. J. Crew jeans. And a lot of these are freaking uh, falling off the hooks. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't wash items unless they have stains or bad smells. <clears throat> Lots of Rock and Republic jeans here, but they are not worth picking up. Only if they were Rock Revivals, I would pick all these up. There's another pair of Page men's jeans. Um, they are in pretty good condition and only $6.50. So we're going to throw those in the cart. Um, Smith's jeans? Smith's workwear? For five bucks. It's flannel line jeans. I'll look these up and see if they're worth it. Smith's. I've never heard of Smith's jeans. Maybe it's like a Costco brand or something. Does management ever give you problems? No. Why would they give me problems? Have you ever found Robin's jeans? Yeah, I've found Robin's jeans before. The thing with Robin's jeans is you got to really do your uh, due diligence and make sure that they are legit because a lot of them are faked. <clears throat> Am I freezing right now? I shouldn't be freezing. You're glitching a lot today. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll hang out for a minute, see if the glitching goes away. If not, then I'll just, um, I'll reset. Oops. Lagging a lot. Why am I lagging a lot? Hmm. We might have to do a reset here. Should have good connection. I got four bars. We'll hang out just a little bit, see if it fixes itself. If not, we'll do a we'll do a full reset. Low comps on Smiths. Okay, we'll put it back. Uh, that's a pull of Ralph Lauren. Pass on that. Edwards. Super lag. Friendship. Good now? Okay, cool. Yeah, it'll probably go away. I can't, I, obviously I can't hook up the Wi-Fi. I'm in the middle of the store, so I can't really help it. <clears throat> um, final Maya, no freezing. Yeah, it shouldn't be freezing. I, sh I have... I have a good amount of connection, so um, it might just be TikTok. So just go out of the stream and come back in, because I, I haven't seen any lag on my end. Stop? Okay, cool. 
appreciate you guys letting me know. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one. What are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resale value. Um, if you want to know the brands I pick up on a consistent basis, my eBay store is linked in my bio. Man, they got to get rid of these hangers. They got a whole mess of hangers on every rack right now. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Excuse me. It's $12.99, but it's a Peloton Lululemon. I always forget to go to the new racks. This one up too. So North Place, thirty bucks. Oops, sorry. Oh, excuse me. North Place Peloton or in the Peloton Lululemon. It's a good one. I knew it was Lululemon right when I saw the three little marks on the side. It's a little bit expensive, but it's got Peloton on it, so it might actually sell pretty decently. Uh, they have another new rack over there, but it's just t-shirts. So I'll wait for the next one to come out. Tags are on sale today. Every um, color tag but white is on sale. It's half off. So um, you'll see like those, um, they're just coming out. So they're going to be white tags. They just changed the color. So everything that comes out today will be, uh, will be white tags. Such as this right here, North Face flannel. Wait till next week. <clears throat> is that North Face made in the USA? Uh, no, it's made in China. It's not one of the older North Face labels. Wish it was. I thought it was Lululemon again. It's an old school LL Bean. It's not a heavy flannel, so I'm gonna pass. People love their Pelotons, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll be worth picking up. Oops. Burberry. It's a men's made well. Too much money though. Sorry, I'm trying to show the labels. Orvis, Bonobos. And there's so many hangers. Like, look at this. The hangers are what's blocking me from. Uh, I'm pulling this forward. I'm assuming they go through the racks and just pull all the ones that are off hangers and then they put them at the end of the racks. But um, why not look at t-shirts? I'm not much of like a vintage seller, so I don't really, I don't really go through t-shirts. Um, I leave that for the vintage sellers in my area. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Again, sorry for the lag in the beginning. Hopefully, we're back to uh, back to normal now. So Burberry London, it's only 25 bucks, but it's too plain. This is like, if this had like any Nova check on it, I probably would pick it up, but it's not gonna be worth it at 25 for just a regular um, Burberry. Uh, this might be worth it though. It's a Peter Millar, it's a nicer one, and it's only 10 bucks. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna pick that one up later. Appreciate the cat paws. No, I don't pick up Thomas Pink, another brand that doesn't really sell well. Here is a Rag and Bone. We'll wait till next week to pick that one up. Proper cloth. Tommy Bahama. Bullock and Jones. There's a good one. It's only eight bucks. It was just put out. Bullock and Jones. Really good brand. Sells well. And this is a corduroy shirt. Um, size XL. Good size too. Um, that's probably like at least a $35 shirt. Rag and Moan um, by Singer. Um, I don't know if that was by Singer. Where was it? Um, it doesn't matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it anyway because it is... Um, no, it's not. But it's, uh, it's not half off, so I'm going to wait till next week. Appreciate everybody hanging out today. If you're not following, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. Here's a Bowden shirt. I believe this is a women's. 
Um, this actually might be a pickup. Um, you ladies in the chat can let me know if that is worth picking up. It's a Bowden shirt. Um, actually, this might be men's. Can't really tell if it's a men's or a women's Bowden. But I'll throw that in the cart for now. We'll look up comps later. Way too much for this. Uh, it's not even new with tags. Like, what are they, what are they thinking? Yes, yeah, Bowden's a good brand. It's a good women's brand. Um, I don't know how well it does men's, but we'll, we'll scoop it up. We'll scoop it. Toad & Co? No, I didn't see a Toad & Co. And every time uh, we've done that, well, we've done that with Lululemon before. Somebody said, I swear I just saw Lululemon. Here's another Bowden. It's an extra small, though. Is this one an extra small? Um, no, it's a medium. It's another Bowden, but it's too small of a size. I'm going to pass on it. Even though it's half off, it's too small of a size to sell. Extra small is really hard to move in men's. Um, men's button right, women's button left. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's It's got to be a men's then. I always forget that little hack. I know I'm going to just look up the style code when I get home. Here's a uh, Peter Millar. This is a nice, like almost like a flannel Peter Millar, older label but it's only four bucks. So we'll throw that in the cart. Oh, I see what I, this right here. This is an easy scoop, butter cloth. This, this will go for like 45 bucks, 35 to 45 for that butter cloth. Really good brand. We'll throw that one in the cart. Um, Stains, we'll leave it. You guys know the brand butter cloth. What's up, sweet dreams? Um, I don't pick up, somebody said um, Armani. I don't pick up Armani. If you look up comps online, I know it's a really great brand, but uh, it doesn't resell for good money. Um, just because a brand is good and it retails for a lot does not mean you need to pick it up always. Leadberry. I used to pick these up and I don't anymore because they don't sell. I'm surprised that they have that for $24 because it won't sell this one too. It's not going to sell. It used to sell really well, but now they're, they're pretty much junk. Franken shark. <clears throat> Again, appreciate everybody hanging out. Um, let me know where everybody's from. Drop it in the chat below. Let me know where you're from, where you're, uh, where you're watching from, what state. I always like seeing all the early morning people because I know those on the West Coast. It's like three or no, six twenty-three in the morning. Drop it in the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. Texas, Illinois. Texas, not too bad. I think I think it's only what eight twenty-three for you in Texas. That's not too bad. There's an old school pink shirt. Michigan. Oh, it must be cold in Michigan. It's actually cold here in Florida today. It's, uh, woke up this morning to a nice cold front that came through. Minnesota. Okay, yeah. It's, it's cold there. We don't even want to start on cold. I know people are going to say Christian Dior. I'm not picking up Christian Dior. Another brand that doesn't sell. Not in a shirt like that. Florida? What's up? What's up from Florida? I'm in Florida too. Texas 824. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's not too bad to be watching me. I know those of you in California, you're like, oh, it's so early. Why do I have to wake up and listen to this guy's thrift and his voice and he just can't. He puts me to sleep. I apologize. All right, here we go. It's a mountain hardware. It is, the back label is a little faded, but it's only four bucks. Really good brand to be on the lookout for. Mountain hardware. Lacoste. This is probably going to be a pickup too. Lacoste for only... $7.50. Really nice Lacoste dress shirt. And we are we are scoring today. And I brought a lot of cash with me today because my wife's here. She's thrifting. So appreciate all the follows. Thank you all so much. Make sure you're hitting that follow button. The top left-hand corner. I do this at least once a week. I'm going to pick this up. This is a Vineyard Vines. It's 10 bucks, but it's a good color. Um, same as this one right here. This is 100% linen Vineyard Vines really really nice one same size xl um this one's too expensive though it's got planes on it but it's it's too expensive so we're gonna pass we're gonna pick this one up too this one's 10 bucks and it's brand new with tags hey let's go but yeah hit that follow button i do this once a week where i come to thrift stores show you guys what i pick up and to resell online for a profit this one's only 12.50 it's an eddie bauer i don't really pick up eddie bauer but this is a nice like super soft fleece uh, I'm going to throw in the cart for now I'll make a decision later 
800 chat you're the goat hey wait just wait for it uh, a couple weeks ago we had 3k in the chat yeah, make sure you're following. Um, I do these lives once a week, and then I also later tonight will go over everything I found. Also, if you miss any part of this live, it's going to be up on my YouTube channel um, later today. Does anybody know if this is a good brand? Scottish Grey. I've never heard of it, but this is like a camo shooting shirt. Scottish Grey. Scottish Grey. Hmm. Somebody look it up. Where are you? I'm in a store called Red, White, and Blue. I appreciate everybody for helping me out with the questions. I know we get a lot of people in here. It's super hard to answer everybody onward reserve hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm, i'm gonna throw that on the back of the cart too i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up i gotta look up comps i'm in a store called red white and blue here is an ll bean i normally pass on this brand but it's only seven dollars and fifty cents brand new with the tags so we're gonna throw that in too 1.1k in the chat let's go if you're not following hit that follow button Right now, we're at a thrift store. We're looking for items to resell online for a profit. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook. On this channel, I tell you what I'm picking up and what I think it's going to sell for. And then I also have tons of content here on exactly what I do. So definitely hit that follow button. Go watch some of my content. Hey, there's a Rag & Bone. I knew these would still be here. Nice Rag & Bone. Really good brand. And that's only $4 right there. I do need a second phone. I do need a second phone. I'm going to be getting one pretty soon. I actually have a second phone. I need a third phone. There's another rag and bone, but they want too much for it. Untuck it. This is only 10 bucks. I'm probably going to scoop it. It's worth it. I used to not pick those up for that price. Oh my God. They want 34 for it. What are they smoking? The other one was like half that price. Mm. It's an older label, Robert Graham. It is a nice paisley pattern. I probably could get like 45 to 50 for it i don't know if i want to pay 20 for it though i'm gonna put it back i'll let somebody else have it if they want it vineyard vines performance vineyard vines too much for those <clears throat> twillery shout out risner it's only four bucks it's a good brand twillery man we're scooping today look at this our carts already like full i'm gonna need like three carts today Willery. Shout out Risner. Risner's always giving me the good brands and I find them within like a week. Oh, what did Elsie Daniels say? Elsie Daniels, I'm coming for you. Oh, never mind. Trisha came for you already. Thanks, Trisha. Leave them for the poor people. You're stealing from the poor. Really? That's already an aisle that I went through. All really great brands that just doesn't have resale value. For all of you that think I'm stealing from the poor, there's plenty to go around. There's literally tons here. Appreciate all the follows. Um, here's another Peter Millar. I'm, I'm, I am going to pay $10 for it because it's a really, really good pattern. It'll sell fast just based off that pattern. Probably like 30 bucks, 30 to 35. <clears throat> Trisha with the Trisha with the fast fingers. Trisha, how do you do it? Teach us how you're so fast with the fingers. Uh, poor people can't pay $25 for a shirt. Uh, it depends on your definition of poor. To Elon Musk, everybody's poor, right? Define the word poor. LLB, or not LLB, Ralph Lauren. This is a flannel. It is a good pattern. I'm probably going to pick it up. Um, it's a size large. Um, my sister said those have been selling really fast for her, so we'll pick it up. Vineyard Vines, too expensive. That's a good t-shirt. Oh, the one that was back there. I don't know vintage t-shirts too well. I don't think this is vintage, though. No, it's not vintage, it's double stitch. A double stitch means it's not vintage. Where do you sell most items? Most of my items sell on eBay, um, but I do sell on four platforms eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. If it's your first time here and you're just coming in, hit that follow button in the top left hand corner. Basically, what I do is I come to thrift stores, I buy stuff cheap, like this Patagonia for only $12.50. 
Buy stuff cheap and I resell online for profit. This is a size eight, which means it's a women's. Actually, that might be a kid's. Oh, well, either way, it's still a pickup. Buy stuff cheap and I resell online for profit. So if you're interested in making a little bit of extra money, this is definitely the channel for you. Tons of content here. Go back, watch it, kind of figure out what I'm doing, and then uh, you can ask questions. Um, this is probably not the best time to ask questions. Actually, I'm going to put both of these back. Probably not the best time to ask questions because I'm, I'm thrifting, but if you come to my live later tonight at 930, you can ask me as many questions as you want. I will answer most, if not all of them. And then we do this once a week, so if you want to get that notification as soon as I go live, hit that follow button. Let's go through the shoes really quick. How much they want for these hokas? Hey, look at that. Hokas for only five bucks. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they have a little thing in the back. That's let's not go. Hey, anybody want a fake pair of Yeezys? Anybody want the uh, unreleased the Yeezy colorway here? You want the real ones? Or you want the fake ones? Unreleased. That's that's sample. Clearly, it's a sample. Freebies. Yeah, I'm gonna leave for those hokas because they got they got the damage on them. I'm trying to find some more nobles. Last uh, two weeks ago, we found like two pairs of nobles, really quick. I'm just skimming right now. I don't really need shoes, but it's always good to check the shoe section to see what they have. I love Nobles. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. They sell pretty quick too. Although the ones I just listed, they haven't sold yet. they're pretty quick sellers yeah. <laughs> balances all right. all right back to the clothing i don't see anything worth picking up shoes are organized it's crazy yeah and they stock all day long so you'll you'll see them constantly restocking Side. appreciate everybody hanging out hit that follow button top left hand corner i don't wash or iron clothing the only time i wash that clothing is if they have stains or bad smells reason being most people that buy clothing online um, they'll wash the items when they get them and just think last time you donated items to a thrift store did you do donate them out of your dirty laundry pile or did you donate them out of your clean closet go through your drawers and your closets and say i don't need this anymore it doesn't fit so i'm going to donate it that's where most people donate their stuff from I'm assuming that's probably where you'd um, donate your stuff from too. But yeah, most of the items that I pick up in these stores are in really good condition. Um, there's no stains or bad smells on them, so there's no reason to, to wash them. Appreciate all the follows. You guys are amazing. Tap the screen too if you guys could. We got 1.4K people in here. We only have 16K likes. What are you guys doing? Tap that screen. Tap, tap, tap. tap a -roo. Let's get up to like 50k real quick. We got enough people in here that 50k is like feasible. I got the 50k last night. I had barely anybody in my live. Here's a good brand, Todd Snyder. I'm gonna look it up. Um, it is 13 bucks, but last time I sold Todd Snyder, it sold super fast. There's a rag and bone, but it's too much. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I see the numbers going up. <clears throat> What's up, Tina? Good morning. How are you doing? That's another champion collab is the one to look out for. Yeah, if you missed my video, I actually made a video about that exact collab just a few weeks ago. I picked one up and it sold within like two days, like super fast for really good money. So yeah, it's definitely an item to be on the lookout for. Let me 
gonna scoot out of here really quick. All right, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do some scouting really quick. Hold on. Excuse me. Because we got a new rack. You see this, people? You always stop what you're doing and go to the new racks. Because you never know what's gonna be on the new racks. Like this Fabletics. I'm not gonna pick up the Fabletics though. She actually had a whole cart full of stuff that I should have went and picked up. It's a nice Cabela's. I'm gonna pass on it though. I've had trouble selling Cabela's in the past. All right, I'm just gonna leave my cart down here because we're gonna make our way down here anyway. Here, find Lululemon. I actually found a Lululemon in this store today. I got it in my cart right now. It's a Peloton Lululemon. I should have looked at that new cart as soon as it came out. Hey, that's a good pickup. Only four bucks. Really good condition. This is a good pickup too. It's a cotton rayon blend, but it's a Tommy Bahama with a super nice pattern. Um, so we're gonna pick that up too. Now I kind of wish I had my cart. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Hit that follow button. Tap that screen. We're, we're almost up to 50K likes just that quick. Let's get to 50K. My most liked stream, I'm gonna pick this up too. It's a 3XL untuck it. It is 10 bucks. It's a short sleeve, but it's a great size and it's uh, $10. And it's a great size and a good pattern, I meant. Tory Richard, that's way too expensive. It's not even brand new. That will never sell. <clears throat> You only do clothing? Um, no, I do hard goods too, but I mainly focus on clothing. That's like my, my go-to, that's my niche. That's my niche. Where do you resell? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. What is that, Winnie Fashion? I thought that was like Winnie the Pooh. So if you're new here, hit that follow button. I got tons of content here on TikTok explaining exactly what I do. I also have a YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Instagram page. So follow me everywhere. So if you want to learn how to make a little extra money, this is the live for you. I don't charge for any of my uh, information. I give it all away for free. But if you feel like, you know, supporting me, I do have a sub button in the top left-hand corner. And we currently have like over 100 subs. I'm trying to grow that community. Here's another good Tommy Bahama. It has stains on it though, so we're going to leave it. How do you organize your finds? Um, if you look on some of my videos, you can see in the background, um, when I'm out in the garage, um, there's a bunch of totes out in the garage, and that's where I organize my stuff, out in the totes. I'm gonna pass on that Lacoste, by the way, it's a little too expensive. 10 bucks for a short sleeve. But I will pick up this Nat Nast. Doesn't look like there's any stains. It is a size small, but it's only three bucks. Another Tommy Bahama. This does not look like a silk one, though. It doesn't feel like silk. It feels like cotton. I'm going to pass on it. Not worth the pickup. Pass on L.L. Bean. Yeah, I only pick up heavy L.L. Bean flannels. Um, the, the short sleeves really don't sell for me. Um, not for the profit that I'm looking to get. Um, they will sell. You can sell those for a profit. All the L.L. Beans I passed on today, you can pick up and you can make money on them. But I'm only looking to, uh, making, I'm looking to make a certain margin on my items. But... As you can see, I, I pass by a ton of great brands. Like for example, this Woolrich is only five bucks. You could probably sell this Woolrich for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks and still make uh, money. But for me and what I'm looking for, it doesn't fit my business model. So that's why I don't pick it up. 511 Tactical, I pass 511 Tactical shirts. Um, I have a couple that are listed and they haven't sold. So um, I'm actually starting to pass up on those. This one's a cotton Tommy Bahama. We're gonna pass on that. We might pick it up next week if it's still here. Arrow, Huck. Huck is a great, uh, great brand. This one's only 10 bucks and it is brand new with the tags. Um, this one will probably go for like 35 to 40 and it'll probably sell pretty quick. So we're gonna scoop that Huck shirt. Funwear, that's a brand name right there for you, Funwear. Somebody put a lot of thought into that one. This is really good, I believe. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren, it's only four bucks. But this is a 100% rayon, which is basically a silk. And so it's a Hawaiian shirt. Old school label on this one, too. Um, this is definitely a pickup. Um, probably like at least a $35 shirt. Another good pickup right here. We have a 2XL Vineyard Vines. 
for $7.50 with a nice fish print on it. So we'll pick that one up as well. Look at that cart. Ooh, that's a cart right there. Um, let's see what we got here. This is an Island Zone Tommy Bahama. It's only five bucks. What size is it though? Oh, it's a size large. What am I doing? It's right there in front of my face. Five bucks for, it's got nice, nice drink pattern to it. I'll probably scoop that one up. And then right behind it, we have another Tommy Bahama with a good pattern. This is definitely a silk Tommy Bahama for five bucks. Really nice pattern. These are the Tommy Bahamas you pick up. Don't just pick up everyday Tommy Bahamas. Am I lagging? It, it'll stop in a second. Oh, there we go. We're back. We're back. Sorry. I was lagging for a second, but we're back. My B. So if you missed it, Tommy Bahama and Tommy Bahama. Sorry for the lag. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle of the store, so I can't, I can't help the lag. There's no Wi-Fi to hook up to here. <clears throat> you clean them before you list only if they have stains or bad smells. Sorry again for the lag, guys. I can't help it. I can't help it. I am planning to get another phone with a different service. So just in case we have this issue, I can always hook up to a different phone. And then we can just swap out the lives. So I apologize. It's a Harley Davidson, but it's just a polo. We're going to pass on that one. Best days to go to Goodwill. I'm, I'm actually not in the Goodwill. I don't go to Goodwill at all anymore. Man, look at this. It's a good Travis Matthew, but they want 20 bucks for it. It's a pass. That, will, that thing will never sell. It's just too much money for a Travis Matthew polo. I think it's TikTok. Um, it might be, but I actually saw the lag on my end that time, so it might actually be me too. I don't normally have issues in the store, so... Um, maybe it is TikTok today. I don't know. I know they do a lot of their fixes early morning, so it could be. Five Eleven Tactical pants good? Yes. Just get them for a good price. Don't pick them up at any price. You got to make sure you get them cheap. Still fit, waiting for the day. Ooh, good brand, bad price. Good brand, bad price. Ministry of Supply. How do they know Ministry of Supply here? This is a James Purse shirt. I probably. It's eight bucks. I'm gonna wait till next week. I'm gonna have to pick it up for eight bucks. You guys know the brand Ministry of Supply? Really, really good brand. Um, has banned so many accounts recently. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you do something bad, you'll get banned. Um, I'm not doing anything bad, so I don't think it'll be pretty hard. Um, it's a nice pattern, Tommy Bahama. It's only six fifty. I'm gonna scoop it. I'll scoop it. Appreciate all those follows coming in. Keep tapping that screen, guys. Let's get to 100K. We're at 61K. We got enough people in here that we could have already hit 100K like an hour ago. We've been in the store for 45 minutes. We're gonna. We got like uh, quite a bit longer to be in the store too. So keep keep tapping that screen. But then at the end, yes, Tommy Bahama sells well. It's actually my most sales last year came from the brand Tommy Bahama. It does help that I got a 200, um, 200 Tommy Bahama lot in last year. Six fifty. Um, is this silk? It's either silk or it's linen. Yeah, it's one hundred percent linen. It's only six dollars and fifty cents. Nice pattern Tommy Bahama shirt. Really wearable. That's another scoop. Man, we are we are killing it today. What store yet? It's called Red, White, and Blue. Like, look at that cart. I'm so glad I hit the got the cash out yesterday because I might have to go hit the ATM again just for the checkout purposes. Um, that one was all stained up. All right, there was another person that already went through this section, so we'll see what she missed. She didn't miss that. Let's see what she missed. See what the competition's like. Uh, top two sizes that sell best. Uh, I don't have a top two, but um, men's shirts and large and bigger do better. And then, of course, uh, pants in like 34 to 36 and bigger, um, they do better. Um, just bigger sizes in general will sell a little bit better than smaller sizes. It's hard to sell like a men's extra small. Just think of how many guys you know in your life that are actually wear a men's extra small. It's normally their kids that wear it. Um, here's a Harley Davidson polo. 
that I probably will pick up. It has an embroidery on the sleeve, but I don't think it'll bother the price. $7.50 for this. It should go for like $25 to $35 pretty quick. Goodwill, um, why did you stop shopping there? Um, recently, I've been to Goodwill, and like when I leave it, when I go to a Goodwill, I find like three things, and I come to this store and I find this much, so that's why I stopped going to Goodwill. It's not, I don't have anything against Goodwill, I just don't find enough stuff there to make it worth the trip. But um, I'm gonna start going in the future. Um, recently, I've only been going to this store and doing live thrifts, but um, I think starting either next week or the week after, we're gonna be doing two live thrifts a week, so one of those might be a Goodwill. I also don't get service in Goodwill either, so it's hard to do a live thrift there without having everybody complain about the lag. How much do you spend on average at the thrift store? This thrift store, um, it depends on the day. Like today, um, I'm probably, with this full of a cart, it'll at least be 500 bucks um, by the end of the trip. It, it'll probably be more than that by the time I finish. Here's a Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a size 2XL. Um, and it does have this pattern to it, this um, lobster pattern. I know it looks gaudy and looks ugly, but somebody will pick this up um, just because of that pattern. Remember, you're buying for somebody else and not yourself. I would never buy, I would never wear that shirt, but somebody else will. What size is this? It's a 2XL Pima Soft Touch, too, for only four bucks. It does have a stain on the front, though, so we're going to pass because of that stain. Yeah, I'm at Red, White, and Blue. It's the name of the store. Red, White, and Blue Thrift, I believe, is the full name. Oh, okay, this is a uh, sports team. I'm going to leave it. I know that sounds crazy. It's Actually, it's brand new. Hmm. It's just hard to move sports teams. Um, you're only going to be able to sell to the person that likes that sports team. It's $10. bucks. i am actually going to pass. Somebody else can have that. I'm just not interested in keeping that around for, you know, a decent amount of time to make it sell. Travis Matthew for eight bucks. This is going to be a scoop. Good brand, Travis Matthew, eight bucks. These normally go for like 35 and they sell pretty quick. Uh, what are your guidelines for buying Ralph Lauren? They got to be like crazy patterns like the one I just picked up. It's kind of a weird pattern. Um, or they got to be vintage. Um, big, um, big embroidery on them do better. I'm going to pass on this one. Big embroidery do better. Um, if I find another one, I'll show it to you. Big sizes too. Big sizes do better. Appreciate all those follows coming in. Thank you all so much. I normally shout out the followers, but on these lives, we get way too many to shout everybody out. So appreciate you. We're doing a live later tonight going over all of my finds, and we're going to have a lot today. We got a really big cart, and my wife is also um, shopping the women's section right now. So we'll do a live later tonight at 9.30 going over everything. Do people actually buy this stuff? Yeah, um, you, you must be new here. Go watch my um, go watch my second video pinned to my profile. Um, I sold $171,000 last year on eBay, selling mostly used clothing. So yes, people buy this stuff. Actually, a lot of people buy this stuff. Oh, look at that, stains all over. It's not worth it, not worth. Here's another Travis Matthew. I normally get 35 for these. This one is only eight bucks, good. Good color on that one too. Is your wife live? No, she doesn't do lives right now. She might in the future. She's starting to starting to get more interested in it, so maybe in the future she'll do lives. 9.30 East Coast time. What's up? Yeah, it's 9.49 right here. I'm in Florida. There's another one of these. This one's not brand new with tags. I'm going to pass. That's still here. Next week I might pick it up. I used to pick up these Southern Tides, but they just don't flip well. This one's only 250 though. I could probably get 25 for this if I, if I take good photos. I'm gonna pick it up for 250. I can't pass. Do you do free shipping? Yes, I do free shipping on most of my clothing items. So when I tell you a price, like I'll say like this is gonna sell for X amount. That's with free shipping included. It's a piranha. Too much. Way too much for that piranha. Are you close to Jacksonville? No, I'm in the Tampa Bay area. Trisha's in Jacksonville, though. I'm probably going to visit Jacksonville, visit Trisha here in the next uh, month or so. Because we love Trisha. Best mod ever. You mods out there, you have no chance of being the best mod with Trisha's in here. 
what, no, that's just sold. That's not profit. No, but just imagine if I'm getting something for like six bucks and flipping it for 35, my margins are really good. Top three brands to look for. I don't have the top three brands, but my, my eBay store is linked in my bio. You can check out my eBay store and what I see what I currently have listed. Um, I'm going to pass on this. It's too small of a size. I'll grab my cart really quick. Oh, there's Trisha. She's using her emote. We made that emote especially, especially for Trisha. <laughs> oh, Trisha. I can't wait to get that, get rid of that stupid emote. We're going to pass on. Actually, it's only five bucks. Um, now nah, we're going to pass. It's got a mark on the front. That ain't coming out. Appreciate all those follows coming in. Keep tapping the screen too, we're almost up to 100K. <clears throat> um, is this your side hustle? No, I do this full time. If you're new here, I got tons of videos here on TikTok going over exactly what I do. And uh, from the videos, you'll, you'll understand uh, what kind of sales I'm getting and that I am uh, full time. Are jeans good to flip? Yeah, we already hit the jeans section. I'm gonna pick this up. It's 10 bucks, but it does have a big hit on the back and that's what you're really looking for with Harley Davidson. Lots of Harley stuff here today, that's pretty cool. Pass on that. I'm gonna leave this till next week. It's a Tiger Woods, but it's uh, too expensive to pay for. It's another Harley Davidson. This one doesn't have a big hit on it. It's a size XL. At least, at least 25, maybe 35. I think I'm going to pass on it, though. Not enough uh, embroidery on that one. Can somebody tell me what store it's? It's called Red, White, and Blue Thrift. If you're new here, hit the follow button. I have tons of content here on TikTok. And then I also do these live thrifts, and I put them on my YouTube channel. So you can watch them on my YouTube channel afterwards. I have all of them currently up on YouTube. Is this a good brand? Buck Mason. <laughs> Where's this made? It's made in China. Looks like a good label. Somebody tell me. If I hear it, you don't pass that up. Um, it's a polo though. It's a polo. Should I pick it up? Maybe I will pick it up. Where is it? What color was it? Skim through it really quick. There it is right there. Oh, no, that's Callaway. Sorry. What color was it? I forget. There it is. That's four bucks. It's a full button though. Uh, I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. You have a lot of new people on one of them. Awesome. Definitely hit the follow button. I do these lives and I also do lives at the end of the night going over everything that I found. And then on nights that we don't thrift, I, um, I uh, do lives where I'm listing the items. So I'm showing you guys how to list. I'm showing you guys how to list the items um, and answer questions and all kinds of stuff. It's all free content here. I give away all my information for free. No, no courses or anything like that. So I'm actually planning to put a course on YouTube for free too. Travi Matthew for only five bucks. Man, I can't believe there's a, there's a lady that went through this aisle and she missed all of this stuff. Get the buck. Okay. What color was the buck again too? She, I knew that buck was probably good. Buck Mason, course for what? Showing you how to do this. Um, a lot of people ask questions. Um, they don't know how to resell, they don't know how to list items, all that good stuff. Um, ship the items, all that stuff will be included in my course, but it's free. Buck Mason, okay, there we go. Are jeans a good flip? Yes, I love picking up jeans. It's one of the first sections I hit when I come thrifting. It's like literally the first section. It's either jackets or jeans that I hit first. Uh, Wednesday Cedar Citizens Day at mine. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm I'm nowhere close to being a senior citizen. Even if I put a wig on, they'd probably know that I'm not a senior citizen. Bone, by the way. I know people are going to tell me to pick it up, but it's just a polo. A little harder to sell. Now I want to go to Goodwill. Yeah, unfortunately, I have that effect on people. Um, 
Um, you can get Polo brand new at Marshalls for less than it's being resold on eBay. Yes, you can, 100%. But the chances of you going to a Marshalls and finding one in your size is pretty slim. Also, I only really pick up the big and tall sizes. Again, if you go to Marshalls and you look for big and tall sizes, like a 2XLT or a 3XLT, they're not going to be there. Um, Lacoste. It's a purple Lacoste. It is um, only five bucks. Probably gonna scoop it up. It's a good size. Those will those will sell. So yes, and plus you have to drive there. You have to do all. Some people just like the convenience. I mean, you can go to um, you can go to Taco Bell and get your order cheaper than if you buy it off Uber Eats, right? But people still buy their Taco Bell off Uber Eats. By the way, you probably shouldn't buy Taco Bell. It's not good for you. But that's just an example I used. Am I lagging again? I should be back to normal now. People pay for convenience. You got to remember that. They will pay higher for convenience. I did skip a Vineyard Vines, right? I, I don't pick up Vineyard Vines polos, not for the prices they have them here, at least. Damn, I thought that was a Peter Millar Masters. It's still worth a pickup. Masters polo, Masters collection. Um, perfect time of year to get those because if you list them within the next few months, they should sell. There's a Bullock and Jones, too. That's a good brand, Bullock & Jones. This is an old, old school label. I'll pick that one up. Look at that cart, look at that cart. Appreciate all those follows coming in. Thank you all so much. Sorry for the lag. If I'm lagging, I, I, unfortunately I can't help it. There's, there's nothing I can do. I'm in the middle of the store. I normally don't have lag in this though. Do you wash your finds only if they have stains or bad smells? Hmm. Is that a good brand? Lorenzini. It's made in Italy. It's a nice dress shirt. I don't have. A, I, I wish I had another phone so I can look this shit up on on live. Mm, 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 mm. What size does sell best for men's? Um, it's going to be large and bigger for um, pants. Um, it's going to be uh, like uh, 34 and bigger. People look weird when talking on the phone. No, it looks like I'm FaceTiming somebody. I'm literally facing the phone towards my face, and I'm just showing the item. So if anything, they, they think I'm FaceTiming somebody. If, if one of the workers asked, that's exactly what I would tell them. How many days a week do you thrift? Only one. Only one currently, but I'm going to be doing two probably next week or the week after. Solid brand? Okay. I thought it was just based off thing. I'll look up comps later. It looks to be in really good condition too. The fact that there is nobody in the men's section right now is absolutely absurd. There's there's literally one guy and he's doing vintage t-shirts right now. This is insane. I have this whole freaking thrift store to myself right now. Where do you sell them? I sell them eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. eBay, Posh, Mercari, Facebook. Um, if you're new here, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. Then, after you're done doing that, tap the screen and fill up the bar one time for me. At least one time. And then go through some of my content after you do that. I have tons of content here on TikTok explaining exactly what I do. If you're interested in making more money in 2023, this is like the side hustle for you. It's easy. Uh, well, it's not easy. It does take some work, but it's accessible to everybody. Anybody and everybody can do exactly what I'm doing right now. And I give away all my information for free. There's no courses here. Um, just have tons of content, so hit that follow button. Where's Big Al? I don't know. Big Al said he was going to be here this week, too. But he must be, uh, maybe he has too much stuff currently to uh, list. I'm going to pick this up. It's only $7.50. It's a medium, but it's 100% linen vineyard vines, and it does have a hit on the front, so we'll pick that up. $7.50 for linen vineyard vines is a pickup. Yeah, shout out Big Al. Big Al, if you're watching this, where are you? We need we need some more Big Al in our life. He does rewatch all the lives, so that's why I can shout him out. He'll hear me. Oh, it's eight bucks. I'm gonna pick this up. Actually, I'm gonna pick both of these up. Two denim. These are denim LL beans. Nice, perfect time of the year to pick these up. They'll sell um, probably for like 30 to 35. This one's a little too much. I don't wanna pay 10 bucks for a solid white cotton or solid green cotton one. Too much for that one as well. This is Cabela's. It's flannel line too. Um, it is pretty dirty on the front though, so we're gonna pass on that. Do you shop the bins too? No, my sister does. Um, so me and my sister are in the same area. We pick 
we back. Does a material impact the price? 100%. Um, for example, Tommy Bahama shirts, 100% silk does a lot better than 100% cotton um, in most cases. So um, material does matter. And I do look at materials like those vineyard vines. Um, linen will sell better than um, cotton as well. Appreciate everybody following along, everybody hitting that follow button. Again, I'll be live later tonight at 9.30 Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time going over all of my finds that I got today. So definitely hit that follow button, come back at 9.30. And also look out for this video. It'll be up on my YouTube channel later today as well. So if you miss any part of this, just head over to my YouTube, um, subscribe there, and then you can rewatch this, the whole live thrift. So if you're bored at work, you're sitting in front of the computer and you're like, man, I want to watch somebody thrift all day. You can watch that all day. Yep, I sell them eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. Uh, mine sold in a week. Tommy Bahama linen pants. Yeah, they're pretty good. You got to buy them at the right price though. Don't just, don't just buy them just because they're Tommy Bahama Lynn. You got to get them at a good price. I tend to find them a little too expensive for me to pick up and make a good amount of money on. Where do you resell them? eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. My best-selling site is <coughs> eBay. <coughs> My throat's starting to dry out. All this talking. Listing day for me, wish I was outsourcing. Yeah, I only pretty much source on Wednesdays right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's 13 bucks, but it's brand new with tags and it's a good size, it's a 3XL. So we're gonna scoop this up. Paying up a little bit for it, but brand new with tags, you can't pass on that. Do you remove, remove wrinkles before posting? I try to get them out, but if there are a few wrinkles, it'll still sell. Especially on a used item. People don't really care too much about wrinkles on a used item. Duluth. Uh, I know a lot of people have been having a lot of luck with Duluth. This is a heavier flannel shirt. Um, I'm gonna pick it up, it's only five bucks. So we'll scoop it. What's your best find? If you look at my pinned videos, I sold two men's Lily Pulitzer blazers for 1100 bucks that I got in a bulk buy for under $9 each. That was my best, best find, best sale. Well, will your wife be doing women's clothes? Yep, um, she's doing women's, she's actually shopping right now in the women's section. And there's a lot of rag and bone here today, but they priced it up too high. Like that, rag and bone. Too expensive. This is brand new. Um, I'm gonna pass though. Another Cabela's, lined Cabela's. I'm gonna pass, I'll, it'll probably be here next week. That one's not half off. AG, no, uh, it was $24.99. I would've picked it up, but it's $24.99. Here's that Burberry shirt, Burberry London, but it does have staining all through it. That's been here for like three weeks now. <clears throat> Eddie Bauer does, but um, you gotta you gotta pick it up at the right price and it's gotta be the right item. How do you know what brands sell quickly? I've been doing this for a while. You can also look up sold comps on eBay to see how many are listed versus how many are sold. And that'll tell you if it's a fast selling brand. So for example, if there's five listed and 500 sold, that means that thing is gonna sell super fast. Here's another Vineyard Vines whale shirt. It is half off, but it's just a solid color. I'm not gonna pick that up for 10 bucks. Pass, let, let somebody else have that. Not enough, not enough margins for me. Here's an old school Disney World shirt. It's a denim one, it just has a Mickey hit on the front. It's only four bucks. You guys think I should pick this up? It's four bucks. I wish it had like a big embroidery on it. It'll be a lot better. It's just, it's kind of simple. It's kind of too simple. So 2X, I'm probably gonna leave it. Yes, uh, I'm gonna probably regret leaving it. Let's mark it. Just in case you guys tell me to go back. Yeah, no. You notice the pinhole? No, I don't get in, uh, too many pinholes in the collar. Here's a rag and bone. Boom, $6.50. Finally, oh, there's another one right behind it. Boom, rag and bone right behind it. Yes, okay, I guess we pick it up. It's only four bucks. If anybody's interested in this, I will give you a great deal on this. Just hit me up in the DMs. 
And I'm not looking forward to actually listing this, but it will probably sell. Where'd I leave off? Uh, I want the Mickey one. Hit me up in the DMs. Hit me on Instagram. I will sell it to you super cheap. I don't really feel like listing it. So if you want it for, let's say, 23 bucks free shipping, I'll give it to you. Just hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. Say Mickey2XL on Insta, and I will give it to you. <clears throat> this has to be a Lululemon. It is. It's got to be a Lulu. Where's the Lululemon logo, though? Where are you, Lululemon logo? Here, there's the three stitches right there. They want, they want too much for it, though. It would be $17.50 for a Lululemon polo. I'm probably going to pass, but that's 100% a Lululemon. Taxing. That thrift store taxing, bro. It's taxing. I'm waiting for the comments. Yves Saint Laurent. I know. It's an Yves Saint Laurent. It's a dress shirt. It's not going to sell. It's 20 bucks. It's not going to sell for a crazy amount of money. <laughs> I, I, kn I knew that was coming. Here we go. This is a scoop, though. I will pay t a 20 bucks for this um, Robert Graham. It's got a nice jacquard print all the way through. Solid black. Really good size. Um, this will be a pickup for 20 bucks. Don't pass on Lulu. It's $17.50. This Lululemon shirt would probably go for $40. Free shipping. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, it's not enough for me to pick up. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass. Yeah, the Yves Saint Laurent, if you look up comps, just look up Yves Saint Laurent performance on eBay, performance shirts. They don't sell for crazy amounts of money. It's a really great brand. It retails for crazy money, but the resale is not there. It's not there. How much is a buzz off Orvis? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to pick it up, though. Um, they, don't, they don't sell for crazy money either. Actually dropped in price. They used to sell for good money. They don't anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, all right. I love picking these up. We got to make sure the stains are not there. These, This is a size 17 solid white Brooks Brothers. If you know, you've seen my videos, you know what this is going to sell for. It's easy 35 bucks. Here's another one. Another one, solid white, a little bit of a heavier one. The $10 ones I'm going to pass on. Here's another one. Solid white Brooks Brothers. Who do you ship with cheap? All these will probably go first class shipping. Good lord. There's a ton of... I, I have a full cart already. <laughs> oh, man. Size 16. $5.99, easy scoop. You guys already know, this is like my bread and butter. Yep, tons of Brooks Brothers. Every time I come to the store, I find like a whole bunch of Brooks Brothers solid white dress shirts. I love it, I love finding them. They're like bread and butter. They're like $20 bills just hanging on the racks. Thank you. Thank you for blessing me. I actually feel like a, way better. If you guys have been following on the lives, you know I've been sick for like the last like week. 100% um, better today. My voice is just a little raspy, but I mean I was able to sing on the car, sing in the car on the way here. So that's when you know I'm feeling good. And no, I don't have a good singing voice. My poor wife. Why are you passing on Polo Brand? Polo Brand Solid Whites um, don't sell as well as Brooks Brothers. And plus, um, the one that I passed has stains on it. I saw it last week. That's why it's still here like this um i don't i don't have luck with these i have luck with luck with brooks brothers so i pass on those bill's khakis though we will be picking this up solid white bill's khakis this is a like a slept on brand um 250 i'll pick that one up mm, i think this one had stains on it yeah it did right there that's why it's still here Ooh, 12.99 brand new with tags we're scooping that one. Insane. Um, yeah. We still have like 
four aisles to go through, people. This is insanity. Look at that cart. Just look at it. This is going to be like a thumbnail right there. Boom. I'm holding it right there to remember that this is going to be my thumbnail. All right, there we go. What's your Instagram's K-Way Shop? I'm K-Way Shop on all platforms. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all those sites. And then, of course, you already know on TikTok. Um, let's go to the jeans really quick. Oh, I'm going to leave this at the end of the aisle. I don't feel like... Uh, wheeling it around, it's a little heavy. It's a Joe Rocket for 20 bucks. I'm gonna leave it. Second cart. That's uh, my wife's actually thrifting too, so she's uh, she's getting some scoops too. Time for the jeans. Jeans and pants. Lucky brand, we're gonna pass on those. Too much money. Uh, let's hopefully the pants section is good to us. I really like finding good pants. What brand are you? Alpine Gore-Tex. Uh, they want too much for it. LL Bean Signature Jeans. 30, those are women's. <clears throat> Yeah, linked in my bio. Everything you need to know about me is linked in my bio. I have a link tree. Um, you can find pretty much everything you need to know about me in that bio. And then, of course, Kway Shop on all platforms. Okay, third cart. All right, we'll go through for a third cart today. It's a good thing that I went to the ATM and my wife's here. So if I have to use two cards, I can use two cards to get out some money today. Because <clears throat> this is a cash-only store. If you didn't know, this is cash-only. I wonder how much cash they have at the end of the day in the store. They must have, like, barrels of cash. How many people that come in here and thrift. Where you store all your items, I store them in my house, in my garage. If you watch some of my videos, you'll see behind me, there's a whole bunch of bins on shelves. That's where I store all of my items. I take photos of them, and I put them in the bins. All right. See, I'm a good thrifter. When something drops on the floor, I pick it up. John Varvados USA. I don't think that's a good brand. I think that's sold at TJ Maxx, if I can remember correctly. Man. Joe's jeans, how much they want for them? Seven bucks, let's go. Eight bucks, actually. Joe's jeans, these are men's Joe's jeans. I'm gonna pick these up. Good, uh, good selling brand for me. I'll probably get 35 to 45 for those, depending on the size. Bonobos. These are piranhas, but they are Five bucks. I know they're piranhas just based off that saying in the back. Um, I don't even have to really look at them to know that they're piranhas. We'll wait till next week. They'll be here. What brand of jeans is your favorite? Rock Revival men's jeans are my fave. Uh, hardly ever find them. But when I do find them, they sell really fast and for good money. If you watched my last Plato's Closet um, trip, I found a pair. They are a size 29, which is going to be a harder sell. But uh, I found a pair of Plato's. Love picking those up. Andy Amos London. Why does this look quality? Does anybody know if this is a good brand? Oh, Hardy. Hardy Ames London. Hardy Ames London. Looks like a good brand. Hardy Ames London. Wait, hold on, what? Caitlin, what did Caitlin say? What are you talking about, Caitlin? Yeah, no, that's not my wife. That's my sister. <laughs> I would never, I would never marry that ugly, ugly. No, I'm just kidding. I shouldn't say that. You guys are gonna be like, you're so rude. That's just a brother sister thing right there. Carhartt, Relax Fit. Pick those up. They're only five bucks. I would never marry her. She is an evil lady. Shout out to my sister. She'll probably make fun of me on one of her lives too. You guys can tell her I said that, I don't care.
Go, go get them. Um, his wife, yeah, my wife doesn't have a store. We just use the same store. There's no point in having two stores. Um, I'm thinking about opening a second store um, um, in the near future to do like um, like competitions and stuff on, like starting from zero and getting up like on YouTube and stuff like that. I know a lot of people do those. So I'm thinking about doing that. It's retail. Um, I don't care what retail is. What's resell? What's resell on those? You gotta look up um, what they're actually selling for on eBay. Never look up retail prices. Retail prices don't matter. You wanna look up a resale prices. What they are currently selling for. One comp on eBay under 25, okay. We will not pick those up then. One comp is not enough. Man, all of these jeans scoop that pass. I keep falling off the racks. Another pair of bonobos. Appreciate the rose. Thank you so much. Appreciate everybody hopping in, sending the roses. If you're new here, hit that follow button. I do this um, multiple times a week. Well, multiple times a week coming in the near future where I go to thrift stores, show you guys what I pick up. I do lives like tons of times every single day. All the time I'm live. I'm pretty much live my whole life. So hit that follow button. You'll get notifications as soon as I go live. What's up, Mike? How you doing today? <clears throat> blow your nose. Um, where, where am I going to blow my nose? Into my, into my shirt? Into my... I don't have anything on me. Should I just blow my nose into this pair of jeans? As, as you can see, it's super dusty here. You can kind of see the dust as it's moving around, so... Blow your nose. You sound so sick. <clears throat> yeah, probably allergies. No, it's just, this place is like super dusty. Most of this stuff is, you know, used and abused. It's not made well. I'm going to pick this up next week. Don't tell anybody that this is here. They want $14.99. I'm going to pick this up for $7.50 next week. restroom uh you have to get a token to get in the restroom it's kind of annoying so i have to go all the way up to the front to get a token so if you want to watch me walk all the way to the front get a token and then walk all the way to the restroom and then have to stop the live for like you know the two minutes that it takes me to walk to the front get the token and walk back i just don't think it's a it, it'll be a worth your viewing pleasure for me to do that so i'm, I'm not going to do it <clears throat> Let's go through the sweaters. I've already been through the jackets. <clears throat> yeah. All right, we're trying to we're trying to navigate this section. <laughs> Uh, we're back. Had to had to make make my way around. All right. I apologize. I was a little I had to walk all the way around because there's people just standing in the middle of the way. Do, 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 do. On eBay for a hundred dollars. Really? San Francisco Disney crew neck. I don't think it's vintage though. Bridges, Champion. Merry Christmas sweater. Start, uh, so small thrifting, I could do that. So smart thrifting? Yes, smart thrifting. Thrift smart. Chervo? Chervo brand. I've never heard of that one. Do you ever thrift for shoes? Yes, I do. But um, when the doors open at this place, there's a ton of shoe sellers that just go right for the shoes. So 
Um, I don't really focus on shoes. I focus more on clothing. Um, I also leave a lot of the shoes for uh, my boy, Ethan. Um, he lives in the area and he's just primarily a shoe seller. He'll probably be here later today. And he goes to the shoes and tries to find um, shoes to flip. So I'll let him have the shoes. I get enough to where I, I don't need to hog everything. And there's an Orvis. Orvis for 750, brand new attacks. Easy money. North Face, this is a women's North Face for 650. Probably pick that up too. 650 for a uh, North Face hoodie. Here's a Peter Millar for only seven bucks, but it does have a huge stain on the front. You see that stain? Not worth picking that up. <clears throat> Any tips? Well, you found the right spot. I have tons of content here on TikTok going over exactly what I do. So watch some of my videos and come to my lives at night. I'll be able to answer your questions better during those lives. These lives are pretty hard while I'm thrifting to answer everybody. Yeah, there's, it's just hard to show these labels. There's so much in here. How much is this? Eight bucks. It's a 2XL Ralph Lauren knit sweater. I might actually pick that up. It's a good size. It's only eight bucks. We're going to pick that up. It's older label too. Man, we are going to spend a ton of money here today. Shout out to you subs. You guys are going to have some really good sub boxes this month. Because I got tons of really good stuff. Ew. 25 bucks though. I wonder if this is worth picking up. It's a men's Lululemon for 25 bucks. It's a full zip jacket. I'm sure this is like a $50 jacket, but I don't feel like paying 25 for it. I'm sorry, people. I know you guys are going to hate me for that. Aviator. For joy. That has a stain on it. What size is a size large? Size large. What brand is this? This does not have a brand on it. And you know what happens whenever something does not have a brand on it? You need to look it over and find the brand. I don't think this is Lululemon. I don't think it is. It doesn't look like Lulu, but it is super nice quality. I don't sell kids clothes, no. Mm, I don't think it is. It's super nice quality though. It says three on the zipper. That's making me think it's, I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Damn, that's gonna make me think this is Lulu all day and I'm gonna be pissed if I skip this. Inside bottom. Doesn't have anything on the inside. No, it's not. It's not Lulu. It's got a tag on the inside. It's not. I always get like FOMO when it comes to uh, what that said. Big balls. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I always get FOMO with the uh, with missing uh, Lululemon. Here's a theory. It's a theory sweater. It's only six dollars fifty cents. Coach, appreciate the sub. Let's go. Appreciate the sub, Coach. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, first. <laughs> Homie is too worried about brands. Hey, Rye, you're too worried about making negative comments in chat. You should probably follow and go to somebody else. The, t the fact that you took time out of your day to write that just shows what kind of person you are there, Rye. So I appreciate you joining in. I appreciate your comment. I appreciate you boosting me in the algorithm, too. You know, every time you comment on my stream, buddy, it pushes me in the algorithm. So I really appreciate you. You're one of my top supporters right now. Dudes like that really need to get a life. <laughs> he clearly knows what he's talking about. Rye, how much do you sell a year, buddy? Can you leave that in the chat? How many brands do you sell a year? Sorry, I had to clap back for a second. You always got to clap back at people like that. But yeah, I appreciate your support, Rye. My A1 since day one, right? Old River. Oh man. All right, back to positivity. 
Rai threw me off for a second. Now we're back. Oh, I thought that was Lulu. Damn, I saw that tag and I was like, damn, that must be Lulu, not Lululemon. Hi, Zod. Ooh. That might be for bearded. This Is this a big? It's a large, it's not gonna fit bearded. That is a cool, ugly Christmas sweater though. I might actually, I might actually pick that up. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I'm gonna look it up. That's a cool one. Oh, this has gotta be Lululemon too. This has to be Lululemon the way they priced it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Lulu. They priced that 69. It's 30, it's 30 bucks, but it's way too much. You'll buy that? Okay, Trisha, I got you. You already know, it's yours. Um, this is just a normal North Face fleece. I'm gonna pass on that one. It's yours, Trisha. <clears throat> it's all hooded. Sorry, I'm concentrating right now. One thing with sweaters is I gotta like look them over to look at the brand and everything. Ever come Boss Boss shirts? I don't really pass by Boss um, Hugo Boss brand. It just doesn't sell well for me. Um, I have sold their jeans for good money, but that's about the only item I'll pick up is the jeans. NFL Ravens hoodie. Give Trisha the deals. The steals and the deals. Um, a bunch of women's sweaters that just came out. No more men's men's new racks though. Next time a men's new rack comes out, I gotta gotta run to it. sell brand new true religions it's all the tag on msrp 230 probably somewhere around 70 bucks somewhere around 70 i just got a bunch of new true religion jeans in that i just listed the other day if you want to know what i sell true religion for um i have a bunch of brand new tag ones in my ebay store you can go check them out see what i have them priced at Ooh. Oh, almost dropped Ooh. Hold on, chat. All right, I'm back. I had to uh, fix my cart. It was basically falling over. Fourteen ninety nine for a Peter Millar polo. No thanks. No thanks. Sorry about that. Cuffies. Oakley. Arlen, thank you for the sub. Holy cow, you guys are amazing. If I missed any subs, by the way, I follow back all my subs. So if you follow, if you sub, you're gonna follow. You also get um, entered in the sub giveaway, which is at the end of the month. If I get to 125 subs, we're gonna give away five reseller, or four reseller boxes, sorry, not five, four. Um, they're gonna be about $150 in value. Um, you're entered to win for six bucks, and I ship the boxes to you for free. And I have, obviously, tons of inventory, so. <clears throat> appreciate the follows too yeah if you're not following too hit that follow button um i do this once a week where i come to thrift stores um buy stuff uh show you guys what i'm picking up um and then i list it online and resell it for a profit so if you're interested hit that follow button i'm gonna wait till that goes half off it's another north face but it's missing the tag It'd be a little hard to sell when it's missing the tag do you ever buy cardal brand no i've never heard of cardal brand Never in my life have I heard of Cardle Brand. Is it a good one? Joseph A's. Um, I don't pick up Joseph A. Bank. I know a lot of people tell me to pick it up. 
Um, if you guys didn't know, Joseph A. Bank runs deep clearance every month in their store where items are literally like dollars brand new with tags in their store. So it's really hard to sell nowadays. It's just a uh, brand doesn't hold its value when the actual brand sells that quick. Go back for what? Go back for what? What am I going back for? Wait, what did Trisha say? Wayne, King FOMO, go back, black hoodies. Is there an anime one? I got you, Trisha. Black hoodies. Where was it, at the beginning or the end? Where, uh, where was it? Is it the beginning or the end of the aisle? Do you remember, Trisha? We'll go from the middle and we'll go to the back. Anime hoodie, I don't know anime. Uh, there's a Fantasia hoodie. Towards the end, okay. Uh, there's an Adidas. Anime hoodie. I don't watch anime, so I have no clue. Um, I was after the Pokemon? Okay. This one? This is a... Uh, what the hell is this thing? Is this, is this the one? I don't read... What is this, Chinese or Japanese? I don't read this, but is this the one? Get it? Okay, I'll, I'll get it. Is it worth anything or you just want it? Demon Slayer, what size? It is a size medium. Size medium? I guess that's worth money. I like what the do you Pikachu. Oh yeah, this is going to Trisha. She's already got that. She claimed it. Oh, I like she, it. She claimed it. Really good one too. I found things. Probably for not the right price, but I found things. Okay, cool. Let's go over them. Let's go over them. You wanna want me to show off? Okay. Um, North Face for seven fifty. Oh yeah, if you want it, that's that's all you. Seven fifty. It'll sell, but if you want to keep it, that's you no, can I have. Said none of this is. Oh, none of this has to keep. Oh wow. Stepping up your game. Look at you. Another North Face for seven fifty. Um, I don't know. It's like a sweater. I just grabbed it. For sure. Yeah, I think it'll still sell for like twenty five. It's interesting. I'm freezing. This one might be too expensive. It's. It's white tag, right? That's not. White tag's um, not half off. I have something else that's white. Maybe two um, things that are white in there. Yeah, just uh, you could right. just put this on the rack behind you. That, that could sell men's or women's. All right, there might be a lot of white tags in there. That's fine. Um, this is grab. another XL women's for seven fifty. We'll pick that one up. That's good. You weird. might have to take some of mine out of my cart and put it in yours when you're this done. This is for the chat because it's a cashmere, but it's like a what is this called? Pure cashmere. Yeah, like a doll. I would doll. say it's probably a pass. How much is it? Seven fifty. Is it white? I don't know. It's seven fifty. I'm probably gonna pass. Um, is that um, Vict Victoria's Secret? It's one of the That's only five bucks. I don't know anything about bras. I don't personally wear them, so I don't know. What's your size? <laughs> Probably is my size. We'll, we'll try it out. I want to try out some bras and see if they sell. Ooh, the Lululemon. Lululemon for six fifty. Let's go. Let's go. It's a poncho. That's what they said. It's a poncho. Uh, um, somebody says they want the lily already. Made well. Um, these are, yeah, linen. They'll sell. They're linen. They're only four bucks. They probably sell for like 20, 25. There's a couple white tags. I just was not paying attention to. Everybody likes my comment. Uh, yeah, the bra comment. 28 for a pair of brand new um, uh, Seven for All Mankind. Those are good. It's white tag, but it's still brand new, so it's worth uh, it's worth picking up. I can never remember the text to save my life. Yeah, I, like I do times. too. The chat always yells at me. Um, women's Rag and Bone for 10 bucks. Those will be a scoop. They're a little bit of a smaller size. Can you oh, look yeah. at the size really quick? Let's see what size they are. That 26. might be. There's two of them. 26. This is too expensive for this one. What is that one again? 26 are a little bit harder to sell. Um, I'll probably pass on this one. I'll take that one. Okay. Um, this one will hang up over here. Um, just put it right there okay. for now. Um, that's a white tag. Rails, yeah, I'll probably pass because yeah. it's a white tag. I don't. You're going to have to put back a few. Um, skies are blue. Is this a good brand? I don't know. 
Um, it's an anthropology brand, but it was like two dollars. So I didn't know. The skies are blue. We'll wait for yeah, the chat yeah, to man. respawn. Here, Put it off to the other side, yeah. Yeah, I'm red, white, and blue, by the way. This is the white piece cart. Um, Lily Plitzer. Silk. It's a silk Lily Plitzer. I believe this is a pickup. It's because it's silk. It's 15 bucks. It's a nice one. It's a size small for all you ladies in the chat if you want that. No, um, no skies are blue. Okay, everybody okay. say no for the skies are blue. Lily Plitzer's <laughs> probably a pickup for 15 because it's uh, linen. They have a bunch over there, but they're all... Um, Bowden. Bowden for three bucks. I believe we sold Bowden before, so we'll take that up. It's only three bucks. It's three bucks. That's why I got that. St. John. It's expensive. What are they? Are I'm they hoping have, it's that. No, tag. no, no. They, it's a, it's a. It, I think it comes. With, it came with another piece. Somebody scooped the other piece. It's a. That's oh, they put two much. tags. For yeah, it's two I tags. Think yeah, we'll put that back. That's gonna be confusing anyway. They'll probably charge us the higher price. They should probably pop that off. On the lily, made the mistake before. Skies are blue, no. Um, check the armpits of the lily. Everybody's saying check the armpits of the lily. And the Bowden, I guess. One of them. Ellie Kai. Um, the, the armpits look good. On the Bowden, the armpits look good. Y'all store high. No, they, they price up um, really good brands. This is Free People. How much is it? I'll probably pass them. That's a little bit too high for free people, I think. I don't remember what that and then was. what was this one? I don't remember. I don't remember what I got. This one is Ellie Kai. Ellie Kai. For two dollars. It's for two dollars and fifty cents. Ellie Kai. Two dollars. Okay. Um, people are right? saying no. Okay. Okey doke. That's pretty good though. I'm gonna have to use your card though. You wanna throw those in there? And then I'm gonna throw like my pile on top of yours. Cause I'm gonna, I have too much in my cart right now. You're so organized with your cart. I just throw everything in mine. And I'm, that's what I'm gonna do with yours. I'm just that's gonna... why I have space. <laughs> uh, let me just move all this stuff over to yours right quick. Now you just unorganized the cart. I'm sorry. Um, I apologize. Let's throw this on top. Everybody's saying hi, wife. Hi, Chad. Say hi. All right, I think that's good. And then I'll have room to add some more onto mine. Should be good to go. All right. Let me go through the uh, sweaters, and I have to go through the shorts, and then we should be good to go. All right. You're going to go through, uh, what are you going through next? I don't know. Just gonna, you're going to browse? <laughs> Does she have a TikTok? No, she doesn't have a TikTok. Yeah, wifey's rocking the Jays. Jays, I just picked up. Uh, North Face for 10. We're going to pass on that one. Oh, she's doing better. She's getting she's getting used to finding the brand. She's looking looking them up offline, too. So she she's learning the brands. A lot of these brands I have no clue about. So it's hard to... Hard to comp them out when I really have no clue. This is awesome. Appreciate it. I do this once a week. So if you're not following, hit that follow button. You can follow along every week on Wednesdays. We do this. Oh, this rack is stuffed. It's absolutely stuffed. So I'm going to try to show you guys labels as I'm going through, but it's really difficult because this is... Super packed. Super packed. I mean, this is probably the fullest I've seen this aisle, and it's crazy because this is a this is the perfect time of year for this aisle to be selling. Here's a Nike. It's a camo Nike. This is like the one the one that we found last week. This is the guy's version to go along with it. It's uh, 15 bucks, so I'm gonna pass. Sorry, Chad, it's super hard for me to show these labels. Remember, if you miss any part of this live, it is posted to my uh, YouTube channel um, after, so you can rewatch this at any time. If you think I missed something, you can go back and watch it. Maybe it's stuff because people are cleaning out their new year. Yeah, that could be it. 
Also too, you gotta think that this store, a lot of the people took off vacation during the first of the year, and now um, they have a lot of their employees back. So now they're, uh, they're able to stock the shelves a lot better than they were um, just a few weeks ago. Because thrift employees take vacations too. Nice Brooks Brothers. I don't know if I went through this aisle yet. I don't think I did. I don't remember if I see something. I already did, yeah, I did. I remember that good threads. That's the, wor that's the way the world works. Pass by that vineyard vines. Just a cotton one, not worth anything. Not worth much, at least. It's worth something, but it's not worth enough for me. Pick up. Um, are you at Burlington? No, I'm at um, a store called Red, White, and Blue. It's a wool, but it's 10 bucks. I'm going to pass by that. Man, these aisles are freaking packed. There we go. Get some room. After this, we just have the uh, shirt or the uh, shorts to go through, and then we'll be done. We are going to spend a bag today. We're going to spend a lot. So we got pretty much two full carts. There we go. A Viella. What do they want? Only $5.99. This is nice. It's a Viella. It is a wool Viella, too. Really uh, good brand. The shirts don't sell for much anymore, but the uh, the sweaters will still sell. Uh, Vineyard Vines, I'm going to pass by that one. Polo Ralph Lauren, Good Threads. I haven't found Viola in a long time. Is there an additional sale? Yes, it's 50% off all the colors except for white tag. Um, white tags are the newer colors, so like this is not 50% off. But this is actually worth picking up. I can't believe people passed by this already. This is a silk. This is a silk Polar Ralph Lauren. Sorry about that. I can't believe people actually passed that up. That's a silk Ralph Lauren. That's worth really good money. Singapore? What's, what's in Singapore? Oh, this is a Bonobos. Is it wool? Feels like wool or cashmere. It's 100% wool, bonobo, size medium. It's only $6.50. Um, I'll probably pick this up too. I don't really sell too much bonobos, but I'll probably pick that up. We either got tags with Sharpie on them. Um, if it's not shown on the outside, I'll still pick it up. Because um, you got to think, it's, if it's on the inside neck, I mean, when you wear a shirt, you don't see the inside neck anyway, right? So it really doesn't matter. Turtleson. It has a um, embroidery on the front. Foot joy, but it's, uh, it is half off. I'm not going to be able to tell what size it is, though. That's the hard part because the size tag is messed up, so I'm going to pass. I really don't like picking up stuff without size tags because it's you have to measure it a lot, and then you always get returns. People are like, it's not the size that you indicated. So we'll pass on that. I used to throw from my mom. Um, she used to own a place in Tampa area. Nice. Yeah, I'm in the Tampa Bay area right now. It's a Marvel ugly Christmas sweater. I already go through this side? I don't think I did. Um, yes, I did actually. I believe I did. That's why I hate skipping around, but you gotta skip around when there's uh, a bunch of people. Yeah, I already went through that side. What city you're in? I'm in Tampa. Tampa Bay area. All right, let's go through this section. And then we just got the shorts to go through and then we're done. I forget again if I went through this. No, I didn't. So. No, I did. Yes, I did. I already went through this one. I haven't gone through this one yet. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a children's small. Pass on it. Oh, I already did this one too. I did the LL Bean section. I didn't do this one. This is the last one. From here to the end. So I remember that LL Bean. Too much for that. Oh, that's just my. That's the one that my wife picked up. 
I have sworn I saw an anime hoodie in red. Uh, well, we're about to go through the red section right here. Oh, over there. Um, if somebody tells me, I'll go back and get it. I don't know anime, so I, I don't know if I saw one. Where do you thrift? Uh, right now I'm into red, white, and blue. It's the name of the store I'm in. That was a champion. Grab that. Champion doesn't resell good unless it's a reverse weave or it has like a collab with it. Um, I don't normally pick them up. This is too much too. This is a vintage Nike crew neck. It's got the Nike hit on the, on the, I don't know what this will sell for actually. It's vintage. It's Nike. It's got the little swoosh on the neck. So let me tell me what these will sell for. One of you vintage sellers, because I know these are worth picking up at, in some cases. I just don't know if it's worth paying five bucks for it and what it'll sell for. So we'll go back and pick it up if somebody sells me too. I used to do this. Got slow. I love that. Lots of champion in the 90s at Walmart. Yeah, somebody tell me if that's worth picking up. Spiders, too much. 40 to 50? Okay. So we'll pick that up. I knew it was worth something. I just, I don't do much, uh, I don't do much vintage. Okay, 45. Okay, cool. Oh, there. We learned a new brand today. Well, we didn't learn a new brand. We learned uh, a new pickup. $24.99. What are they? Is this new? What? What? It's a corduroy Ralph Lauren shirt. Um, I'm gonna pass. Definitely pick up 45 bucks. Okay, cool. Oakley sample shirt. Here's a pickup. Lacoste for only $6.50. Nice sweater. It's a good one. Where do you sell them? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. If it's your first time here and you're not following, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. I do these lives once a week. I'm going to start doing them twice a week, actually, in the uh, coming weeks. Um, all these lives end up on my YouTube channel, so go follow me on YouTube. You can re-watch these lives at any time. Um, but I have a whole bunch of content here on TikTok going over exactly what I do. So definitely hit that follow button. And uh, come to my live later tonight. We're going to go over... I have two carts, actually, right now. We're going to go over everything I picked up. The live tonight's going to be really, really long. It's going to be a long, long live. Yeah, I have um, my eBay store is also linked in my bio. So if you want to know the brands that I sell consistently, you just go to my eBay store. You can check it out. See what I'm currently selling. I'm kind of excited about that Nike find, actually. See how fast it sells. That's something for, like, Depop. Or Grailed. I'm going to be opening one of those here pretty soon. Is that cashmere? Um, what time will you be live in Mummy Canada? Um, look up what time 9.30 Eastern Standard Time is for you. That's what time I'll be live. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what can I'm assuming, assuming Canada uses the same stuff. Eastern Standard Time. That's the time I'll, I'll be live later tonight. Stitch. I like Grail. I hate Depop, but I'm old. Yeah, I, I've never used them before, but I hear people have like really good success with them. So that's why we're, I'm going to give them a shot this year. My, uh, my Facebook actually has been popping off. Um, I know I complained about them, but it's been popping off. Here we go. Barber. Good brand to be on the lookout for. This feels like it's cotton. Yeah, it is a cotton, but it's a good brand. Barber crew neck um, for only $3. I'll we'll pick that up. But yeah, my, uh, my Facebook has been popping off recently. Sold a Harley shirt today for 60 bucks. I will last night um, in my sleep. I sold it and I, I shipped it out this morning. There's a piranha, but they want too much for it. You buy Columbia brand? No, I normally pass on Columbia. It's a it's a brand that used to sell well, doesn't sell well anymore. Brands come and go, and that's one of them that that unfortunately went. So I don't pick it up. Maybe if you get it super cheap, it's worth picking up. I'm gonna skip that. Um, it's worth picking up, but to be honest, I don't find it like super cheap here. That's not what I think it is. What are your top brands to look for? I don't have a top brand to look for, but I have an eBay store. It is linked in my bio. You can check my eBay store and see what I currently have listed. And you can also see what I have currently sold. All right, let's go through the shorts. What's up? Ethan's in the house. 
I went and looked at the shoes for a second, but there was too many people over there, so I just decided not to go through them. Cool. There's a bunch of people over there. But I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can find tons of stuff over there. I'll come back and up. All right. Sounds good. If you guys aren't following Ethan, you should go give him a follow. He's an awesome dude. Castaway. Somebody taught me. I think it's Risner, right? Risner, you're in here. He told me about this brand last week. Castaway. These are Castaway shorts with like hot dogs and stuff all over them. So I don't know if these are a pickup, but uh, I'll trust your opinion, Risner. You let me know. Castaway shorts, only four bucks. Yes. Okay. Cool. Ethan, he's um, the college reseller on um, on Instagram. He does have a TikTok, but he doesn't really post on TikTok much anymore. These Brooks Brothers are have pineapples all over them. This one has a stain. Those will go with the Polo Lobster shirt. Yeah, they will. I wonder if the same person donated them. That's that's kind of funny. Polo Lobster short shirt. Hey, you already know what this is. It's a foot joy. Um, these are eight bucks, but I'm still gonna pick them up. I normally get 25 to 35 for these foot joy shorts right there. Foot joy in the back. Appreciate everybody helping out and answering the questions. I really, really appreciate it. I know I'm pretty, I'm slacking today on answering the questions. There's some more um, Brooks Brothers shorts. I'm gonna pass on those though. Uh, no one the Nike, they're, they're 10 bucks, so I'm going to pass. Um, they'll be here next week, and they'll be 5 bucks. They'll be half off, and then I'll pick them up. I do pick them up, um, but they have to be the right price. Joseph A. Banks. A lot of almost pickups today. Polo Golf, they want 8 bucks for those. Those will be a pass. What are you? This is the store that we found the Nipsey shorts at. If you guys remember the Nipsey shorts. Actually, somebody DM'd me about them. And they were going to offer me, but they never came back. And I think they were going to offer me $250 for them. And I would have took that offer. But then they never uh, never came back. Those are piranhas. Too much money, though. Favorite thrift store? Oh, easily, this is my favorite thrift store by far. Um, we just find so much stuff in this thrift. They are brand new with tags, the Tyler short. I mean, they're only five bucks. I'm gonna pick these up. I mean, I probably can get 25 for those. That would normally be a pass, but they are brand new with tags, so we'll scoop those up. Scoop down here. Appreciate all those follows coming in. Really appreciate all the support today. Keep tapping that screen. We're almost up to 150K likes. If I was doing that this whole life, we would be way more. But uh, oh well. I want to beat my record. My record's like, uh, no, our record's 500,000, isn't it? It's half a million. Half a million likes. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to get back to that point, but that would be pretty crazy. The fact that we had half a million likes in, in uh, Salvation Army is pretty crazy because. <laughs> we got way more people watching in this live and we don't hit any, anywhere close. Um, what's the minimum profit margin item? I'm looking to make about $20 profit per item when I'm picking up um, at thrift stores. So I'm looking to spend about $5 and sell the item for $35 free shipping. And that will give me my $20 profit that I'm looking for. AG shorts, too much. Columbia is brand new, but I don't want to pick up brand new Columbia. Sending Go Ruck energy, yeah, that would be nice. A pair of Go Rucks, that would be nice. Actually, we have a we have the sh the other pants to go through too, so we have one more section after this to go through. I forgot that I didn't go through the uh, the chino shorts. What are you doing, bro? I'm good friends with Sandy Threads. Yeah, Sandy Threads, awesome. He's a good friend of a uh, good friend of ours over here too. Love that dude. He knows his stuff. If you guys aren't following Sandy Threads, go give them a follow. I'm gonna pick these up. These are Nike golf shorts. Um, they're only three bucks, so it's worth picking up for three bucks. I'll tell you guys this, there is zero 
absolutely zero competition in here today. There's like one other dude that's thrifting, but um, I think he's already missed quite a few items um, that I picked up. You got it? So there's like zero competition. This is this is probably like my best thrifting day I've had in this store um, in a very, very long time. Um, I normally get a full cart, but today we're probably gonna leave with two full carts. That's how much stuff has been in here. Pretty, pretty crazy. When do you shop for summer? I shop for summer all year round. I'll pick up winter items in the summer and summer items in the winter. Um, it does not matter to me because I will list them right away. And then, you know, when winter time rolls around and you got a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of uh, jackets listed, you'll get a lot more sales. So, and typically when you find winter items in the summer, they price them cheaper. Ooh, here's a pair of Travis Matthews for only four bucks. Nice little scoop. And I'm actually, I've actually sold three Tommy Bahama um, shirts this, um, just in the last week. So people buy stuff all year round. All right. I think this is the brand. Dylan. Dylan, South Pole, right? Dylan, are you here? Dylan. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. I know you guys just got really confused by that pickup, but I'm gonna tell you guys about it maybe in a future video. How many items on average do you sell? I sell about 10 items per day. Yes, let's see. Dilly dilly, Dilly's here. All right, Dylan, I'm putting you to the test. Dylan, if you fail me, I swear on Call of Duty, I'm literally just gonna stand there and let people kill me. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot next to you the whole time so that way people will know exactly where you're at in Call of Duty. Remember this, Dylan. Remember this. If you guys think this is a bad brand, look up comps. Keep it a secret. It's between me and you, chat. Keep us keep it a secret. But it's between me and you. 25 bucks. Yep. Keep it, keep it between me and you, chat. He left Armani Exchange, yes. Armani Exchange is a great brand. It doesn't have good resale value. But surprisingly, South Pole does. And Dilly Dilly showed me the comps. So I'm trusting him. South Pole, look, look up comps, Trisha. <laughs> it's actually surprising. Um, I'll, I'll update you guys in a future video. Oops. This one out of the way. I'll update you guys. My son wore those years ago. Yeah, I used to, I used to own a few pairs too. And shout out to, shout out to Dilly, Dilly Dilly. Let's see if he's a, he knows his stuff. I'm putting him to the test. What about Kuji? Oh, you already know. Excuse me. All right, let's leave this right here and then we'll go down the pants. This is the last section. How often do you thrift? Once a week. Um, in the coming weeks, it'll be twice a week. I'll be doing live thrifts and then I'll be making, I'll be going a third time specifically for YouTube. So I'm going to be thrifting three times a week coming in the near future. Lots of new content. 2023 is the K Way takeover year. We we're taking over in 2023. Content on content on content in 2023. That is Bonobos. Dang, I pass on self pull all the time. I'll look up now. I actually do too. It's a secret between me and you, chat. Me, you, and Dilly. Me, you, and Dilly. Um, how long do you keep items if they don't sell? Uh, I'll discount them every uh, every few months. I go through my listings and I do some uh, discounts, some deep discounts. So normally I, I have about a 50% to sell through rate every 90 days. So 50% of my uh, inventory sells every 90 days. And I'm looking to increase that this year to around 60%. The goal is to obviously get to close as close to 100% sell through rate as you can. Because the more you sell, the more chances you get to go out thrifting, so on and so forth. So that's a, eventually the goal. But we're not there yet. We'll be there eventually. We'll get there. 
sold on South Pole for only 25. I'm putting them to the test. I'm putting them to the test. Remember, if this fails, we all go for Dylan Combs. We attack him. Uh, I'm gonna pass on those. I'll wait till next week when they're half off. I was looking to find one today. Baby Fat, St. John Jenko, Trips, NYC, okay. Those are all old school brands. Brands that most people probably don't think they sell. Rock Aware. I don't know if Rock Aware sells though. And there's nothing in this section today. I need to get some, uh, need to get some good luck in this pants section. Guide series. So I discount every few months and donate back to the church. There you go. Hey, everybody's business model is different, and you gotta you gotta work it to what you have available. So obviously, if you don't have room to store that stuff, you got a discount. Stop pull baggy. Uh, what do you sell on a sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace? What is this? Flex Ballroom Khakis. Flex Ballroom Khakis. That's a pretty weird name. Um, big size men you sell quickly. Yes, they do. Bigger sizes always sell sell better be on the lookout for bigger sizes what is this weatherproof and i've had little luck in this section recently little luck i mean sometimes we hit heavy in here we found a pair of cool pants in here like a few weeks ago but lately it's been pretty dry in this section and i know it sucks on the the screen to go through look through jeans too and pants because you can't really see the labels um, but if i find one i'll let you guys know why i picked it up and all that good stuff but Unfortunately, it's a little, a little difficult to show the item, especially when it's this pack too. My arm is actually starting to get tired because all these racks have been full. I've been having to push all the racks down. It's a pair of AG, there we go. A pair of AG for $6.50. Good brand to be on the lookout for. Men's AG. See, it's always worth it to just go through it because you never know if you're gonna find something like that. I'll probably get 35 to $40 for those AGs. And then right after, we got a pair of North Face for $7.50. This is actually one that we left here last week. So sometimes I leave brands behind. I know you guys are like, pick it up, pick it up. But um, I leave it behind because normally they're still here. What is this? Nope, it's Amazon Essentials. How much do you make? Um, I make a good amount. I make them enough so me and my wife can stay home full time and do this. Um, and I have extra money to support my family all that good stuff. Um, last year, I do give last year's numbers. I don't give this year's numbers because um, now that I'm full-time, I don't really want to put my numbers out there too much, but last year I did this part-time. I sold um, just under $200,000 worth of merchandise and I made 54K profit. So 54,000 is what I got on those uh, for the year's end. Jeans is what I pick up, okay. Don't know about South Pole. See, Dylan's already like contradicting himself. He's like, I don't know. I don't know now. No, I'll pick them up. I'll test them, Dylan. Even if they don't sell, we're good. I, I, I'll, I'll just play one game of Call of Duty bad for you. What are those? Um, oh, look at that. Chris is in the house. Chris says, um, what skill is behind this besides stealing clothes from people in need? Well, Chris... Chris, I've already been through this whole entire aisle. Chris, what you need to understand is most of this stuff will actually end up in the landfill. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get back to Chris. Boom. Chris, I actually have a video about this. 
It's called um, Karen. I believe it's on the front. It says Karen. You, Chris, are actually a Karen, if you didn't know that. So go watch that video. It'll explain everything you need to know about well, the comment that you just said. Shout out to Chris. Goodbye, Chris. Have a lovely day. If you were just blocked, unfortunately, you can't see the video. My mods normally take care of all Chris's in chat. But Chris, one thing, uh, people who have the same mindset you need to understand is there is so much excess here in America. I am in a thrift store and I'm leaving about this much behind. What I want you guys to do is go to a store called Goodwill Bins and then see how much is thrown away every single day. It is astronomically like, it's out of your, you can't even fathom how much stuff gets thrown away every day. There's so much excess in America. I'm skipping over tons of items right now in this thrift store that I'm not picking up. It's really good brands. For example, these Nike golf pants, I'm not gonna pick them up. $6.50, you could easily pick those up. I found a couple more thingies. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Oh, a North Face I beanie? Know. I think it's too much uh, for, oh. it's four bucks, but um, I don't know if a beanie's gonna sell. i just throw that up there. What's this? Cole Haan's signature. Is that shoes? I just grabbed it. I it know. is. I have had trouble selling Cole Haan jackets. Um, this is a puffer too. It's down. Like oh, it's down? Yeah. Mm. So I grabbed it because I did not know. Yeah, well, it's 20. we actually might pick this up because if it's down, what does it say? 100%, 50% down. down. Yeah, we'll probably pick it up. It's, it's, it's worth actually it. actually really nice. For 20 Extra bucks. Large. Yeah, that's worth it. That's a nice one. We'll give it a shot. I've had trouble selling those in the past, but I think it's worth. I think it's worth. Um, what section was about to get to? I think I'm pretty much done. I was gonna go somewhere else, and now I just forgot where I was gonna go. That's all right. We don't have to go anywhere else. Let's put the camera and say bye to TikTok and, and YouTube. All right, we're gonna head off. We got not only one cart, but we have two cart. cart all the way over there? Yeah. Do you think somebody's gonna run off with that thing? They'd have to really like be pushing it. I'll just, just yeah, it's gonna take them an top. hour to be able to get out of the store with that thing and get in the checkout line. It's okay. pretty massive. But we got one, we got two carts. Um, we are gonna head off. I'll have this live post to my YouTube channel later today. And of course, later tonight at 9.30 PM, we'll go over everything that we picked up um, shout out to all of you guys, 165k likes. Really, really appreciate it. Come to the live tonight, 9.30. Go over everything. Peace out. Have a great day.